Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about how to teach and learn about the coronavirus, COVID-19, with 2D, as you can see here, and 3D maps, as I explain in the blog that you see the URL right there. Now, I've got this data inside a 2D ArcGIS Online map, but it's very easy to move this or any other data into a 3D scene. Now, I'm a firm believer in all things education using the most appropriate tool for the job. So don't just use the 3D scene viewer just because it's there. But if it helps you teach and if it helps your students learn in a richer, more engaged way about this or again, any other topic in geography, environmental studies, business, health, and many other fields, whether it's natural hazards or human health or water or energy or population change, these 3D tools are really, as you can see, quite engaging. You can set the pop-ups. You can change the base map, as you see me do right here. You can change the angle. You can even change the sun angle and the time of day and the time of year that you're looking at the data. So it's quite easy to do because these aren't just a bunch of graphics floating around in cyberspace, folks. These are tied to a geographic information system. So each polygon, in this case, region or a country, has data associated with it. Cases, the number of deaths, the number of incidents, and so on. Here I am changing the daylight. As you can see here, she so gets some shadowing effect. You can also share and you can analyze. So for example, you can take little slices as I'm doing. You can measure distances between places on the globe. And since it's a globe, you don't have to worry about the map projection like you do in 2D maps. So these tools, again, are part of the ArcGIS platform from ESRI. A-R-C-G-I-S, the ArcGIS platform. As I explain in that posting of mine that you saw the URL of earlier, and here I'm taking a slice, you can find out how to create maps, dashboards, infographics, 2D and 3D maps, and share those. You can create story maps and much more. Story maps are 3D and 2D multimedia ways of communicating your research or your topic that you're teaching and learning about. So again, a 3D scene viewer inside ArcGIS, the platform, and again, you can share these, you can save them, and it's not just this particular grim topic. It is anything that you can map, you can make a 3D scene of. Again, thinking of my mantra earlier, use the most appropriate tools for the job, but again, I think these 3D scenes are quite a good teaching tool. Uh, obviously, I'm changing the base map here to the ocean's base map and I'm panning around the world and rotating the globe and looking at the patterns, the relationships, the trends. What factors influence the spread of coronavirus or influence other geographic phenomenon? So for example, you can add eco-regions, you could add airports, you could add population density to this map. You could add any layer, again, from the ArcGIS platform, including the Living Atlas of the World that contains thousands upon thousands of data layers. You can add those layers and then better understand what are some of the influences for why we see the patterns. We can also create a web mapping application from this 3D scene as I'm demonstrating here. This web app builder allows you to create your own buttons that do certain functions on your map. So I've changed it to a National Geographic base map. Once again, the 3D scene viewer in ArcGIS. I would highly encourage you to use these tools in your teaching and learning. Thanks and stay safe.